now, ladies and gentlemen, the man of the hour, the man of the day, the man of the week, the man of the month, the man of the year, Canada's own, Wayne Gretzky. He's done a lot. He's accomplished a lot. He is probably the greatest player that ever played. Not only that, he, he's a, a pretty amazing person, and, and I love to sit back and not really analyze him, but watch him and, and, and try to understand more, more so than anything, try to understand what makes him tick. Change the board. Let's do the English one with uh, the rest time. Well, the fewer care. words I say, the better. <laughs> really big for me this time, my buddy, and action. Oh, Christ, what's this? Here's the ref. Jesus. Ow. Love it. He's a super natural athlete. And at the same time, people expect him to be a supernatural person. Heads up, heads up, heads up, heads up, please. Heads up. Reporters will be huddled over him for an hour after the games, and he just. He just does it, answers the questions. Can you imagine how many times he's had the question asked him, well, how does it feel to be one of the greatest players in the world? I mean, he, every place we go to, guys ask him that question. He answers it, answers it, answers it. Kidding anybody, it was 2-1. It could have been easily 3 nothing for them. We didn't have a good third period in the second game. I mean, game. I get upset just thinking about guys asking him that same ridiculous question. And uh, he never gets upset. I've never seen him yell at a reporter yet. I just go out there and play my own game. and. and uh, Tight, uh, I mean, he's an ambassador to the game, and, and he's very similar to any, uh, any diplomat. I mean, he's very similar to the president or the prime minister, as far as I'm concerned. So he rarely lets his guard down. I mean, do you ever hear what Brian Mulroney or President Reagan does away from his office? I mean, you never hear about that, just like you never hear what Wayne Gretzky does. So anyway, listen to my story. It's a unique story. <laughs> Two hours, we're we'll sitting there, and he's going, Gretz, you see any birds? <laughs> Flats, you see any birds? No, no. Andy, we'll call him. He's calling away. Andy, we'll any birds? Call him. Call him. Oh, I don't know how a goose calls. How was a goose call? Sam is doing louder. No, no. no. <laughs> okay, so Andy's, Andy's going, Andy's going, Andy's going, Andy's going so two hours later, we got no, no birds going over. We figured out why. We were, we were duck hunting. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a goose call. <laughs> he doesn't allow the general public to see that side of him. There's very few people to see that, that side of him because he's so conscious of his public image, which is fabulous. But he's so conscious of that image that he rarely ever lets his guard down. I mean, for one, he says that he hates to be alone in public, and I can understand that. I mean, he thinks that someone might come up to him with a knife and in a crowd because his name is right up there. I mean, they call him the greatest, like they call Muhammad Ali the greatest. And those are major concerns when, you're, when, you're, when your name is that recognizable and, and your face and, and, and everything you've ever done. It's what I do. I play a game that takes me far from you. And everyone I meet knows who I am. They think I have the world here in my hand. But the eye of a crowd can be the lowest. Yeah, I'm never alone, and, uh, you know, I just think that uh, you, you just can't put yourself in that position of being vulnerable, and uh, I always make sure that I'm with somebody when I'm out of my apartment. I mean, I think that people in general treat me really well, and I've been very lucky, but there's always that one person that doesn't like Wayne Gretzky or Mark Messier or Glenn Anderson, and... 
I really prefer not to argue with people, and and uh, I prefer to walk away. And when you're by yourself, a lot of times they don't, they don't let you walk away. When you have somebody with you, it's always nice to have somebody else. Tell them kindly to, to please leave. Over the years, I believe that people built up that love-hate relationship. They, I mean, they love to see the Oilers lose a hockey game. But they, at the same time, they like to come see the Edmonton Oilers play because they like to see them lose.